Today I want to share with you some interesting things that I discovered lately. Uh, one of them has to do with this little crystal here. The other thing is something that I tried, not expecting it to work, but to my surprise, it actually did. I've also got some updates on how Kundalini energy is moving in my body. I had a Kundalini awakening 2013, and since then a lot of things changed. And I have some newfound revelations about chakras, how they actually look. I made a little drawing for you, and I will include some pictures I found on the internet that are very accurate. Also, I saw some interesting things while I was astro projecting the other day, while I had an out-of-body experience. I want to share this information with you because I think it could benefit your spiritual evolution. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this little crystal here. Before my spiritual awakening, I wasn't really into crystals, or I just thought they looked pretty. We always had some around the house because my mother liked them, but I I never thought they would do anything um, except for look pretty. But after my Kundalini awakening, I discovered that they actually do something. So after my Kundalini awakening, I got very sensitive to energies. I'm able to feel the energies of living things, um, just standing close to them or touching them, for example, plants or animals, or just being close to people, feeling their energy. If a person is very excited or happy, I feel like this intense magnetic energy coming from them. And this includes also crystals. And I found that this one, the black one, I'm not completely sure which type of crystal this is. It is probably one of those that I'm going to include a picture of some of these black crystals. And I found that these black crystals are the strongest of all of them. And what these do is they boost your uh, Kundalini energy. They boost your life force energy. It is the most effective when you hold the crystal just like that in your hand. Not, um, it's not that effective when you put it on your body somewhere. I, I feel the most energy, the strongest energy coming from the crystal when I just hold it in my hand. <laughs> right now I can feel it. It is very intense energy from this black one and um, it is boosting the kundalini energy movement in my body so when i hold the crystal i i can feel a boost of energy i feel the kundalini movement uh, stronger in the body going through the nadis going through the chakras when i hold the crystal and as i said this black one has the best energy the strongest energy um after um, i discovered that uh, crystals would boost my energy. Um, I bought a lot of them and uh, different kinds of crystals. But as I said, this, the black ones are the strongest. I wouldn't recommend holding them for a very long time. Um, they give off very strong energy. And I feel like sometimes it is too much. I can only hold it for a short amount of time. I also wouldn't recommend to rely too much on crystals once you discover that they give up of the strong energy just like other living things, which is kind of very interesting because this is just like a hard rock and they give off stronger energy than a plant or an animal and or a human. I had to put the crystal down because the energy was just too much. Um, if you are very sensitive to energy, maybe you can even feel it um, across the screen. And the other thing I discovered, which can also boost your Kundalini energy, um, is mudras. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's like um, uh, things that positions you put your fingers in, like this one and this one. I I was so surprised that it was working. Actually, I want to tell you a little story how I discovered um, that this was working. Um, I had um, a few weeks ago, I had a dream. And in that dream, I would move objects with um uh, this mudra, I would uh, put my fingers like this and I would move objects in the dream. And um, after I woke up, I, I tried this mudra and actually it would really work and boost the uh, Kundalini energy flow just uh, as if I would hold a crystal. I came across these mudras in the past and sometimes when you see people meditate, they meditate like this. But I found like this one isn't working that 
well, I feel like it, this is more restricting. Um, I found like this one and this one is very effective. I would show it um, when you do it, do it with both hands. I just have the microphone right now and can't show you. So I found this one is um, just like, just as I'm doing it right now, I can feel uh, the boost of Kundalini energy um, again, just like um, um, the crystal would boost it. So this one and this one, these two are very effective. Uh, you can do it when you go for a walk, just put your fingers like that or during meditation or whenever you, um, whenever it just comes to your mind. Oh, I forgot to mention that the crystal and doing these mudras, it is um, realigning your chakras. So it is tuning um, your energy body to the right frequency. Right now, most people's energy body is like all over the place, wrong frequency, chakras are blocked, energy isn't flowing right, it is not flowing in the nadis, there are blockages everywhere in the body. And these uh, things can help you to boost your Kundalini energy. But um, be prepared. Um, if you use these tools, a lot of memories will resurface and you have to deal with um, some things from your past. This is also part of my technique that I use uh, to um, remove blockages. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about uh, um, what is currently happening with my Kundalini energy, the Kundalini movement. So the biggest changes happened after I gave birth to my son. I'm talking about the changes that happened in another video. I'm going to link it um, somewhere here. So I would describe it like that. I had my awakening uh, 2013. Then the Kundalini movement was around like 10 to 20% in the body. Um, I had a lot of blockages a lot of um, pathways were blocked so the kundalini mov movement was around um, 10 to 20 percent after my awakening then i did some integration and let's say it went up to maybe 30 percent but now after um, giving birth um, after i uh, perfected my technique and um, i'm using this new technique it went up like to 70 80 percent so most of the change happened uh, very recently um, i gave birth in february it's going to be one year so most of the change happened recently and i'm very happy about it because this is the thing that i was working on all these years so i want to talk about uh, what what these changes are now so this this is supposed to be a person a profile view um so those little circles this is um how the chakras look so they are like discs at every chakra point the there's a nadi that goes straight through the body so from here goes straight through the back at at each chakra this is how the uh, the kundalini energy is moving on this pathway it goes there and the way it's moving for me it is going uh, first straight through my body then it's it is go it's making a circle and it's continued to go up goes through the body makes a circle goes up through the body makes a circle and so on and so on this is what is happening at the major chakra points the um, smaller chakra points there are additional chakra points not just uh, the seven chakras there are additional chakra points at the where the where the joints are like here here then at, at your knee foot also in at your in your fingers there are chakra points there the energy just goes straight through it's it's not making this a circle around so this this has new developments um this didn't happen to me before that the energy goes around into the circle makes this um, circular uh, movement. So the, the chakras are more like a disc. Most pictures, uh, most on most pictures, it's, it's like only here, like circles. But um, how I feel it in the body, it's actually like uh, discs. 
I heard about this before, but I wasn't experiencing it. So if you f come across some information where they where they are describing the chakras as discs, then this is uh, some good information. I'm also going to include a picture here in the video that I found that uh, also looks very accurate. Also, another picture where you can see the nadis. This one is a very accurate depiction of the nadis. The nadis are all over the body and the nadis are also outside of the body. So uh, I talked about this in more detail in my other video that I'm linking here. Um, but I also feel the energy moving outside of my body. So Kundalini energy, the movement is not just inside of my body now, but also outside of my body, like about this much. I can't wait to see um, what I will discover next. Also, the more I integrate, the more random memories resurface that I wasn't thinking about for like 10, 20 years. So things come up like things I wasn't thinking about for so long. The reason why all these memories are resurfacing is because of is because they want to be integrated. The goal is full integration. Full integration is achieved when you see everything in existence, everything in your past, every person, everything as a part of yourself, as a part of oneness. And this brings me to the next thing, to something that I saw um, during Astro Projection that relates to this topic of integration. So there's this quote that I really like. It is very simple, but very powerful. So the quote is, enlightenment is when the wave realizes that it is the ocean. So you right now are a little wave. Everything around you is a wave, a plant, everything. Your clothes, um, your friends, your parents, every person you ever met or will meet. Everything in existence is a wave, but it is part of the ocean and it is the ocean. A wave cannot be separate from the ocean. It is the ocean. So what I saw a while ago uh, during astral projection, I asked to project it somewhere. Um, so there are different levels where you can ask to project to. Um, some are um, the ones that are the one that is the closest to this physical reality. You will see things that are like the things that are here. You will see things that are very similar to the things that you see here. But there are other realms that are not like this one. And I also projected to a place where I saw a literal copy of this physical body, of myself or of the current incarnation of this avatar or of this um, video game character that I'm playing right now. I saw this um, copy of myself in front of myself. And this was clearly a message from my higher self because um, after I came, came back, I realized that I was seeing this because there was something that I wasn't thinking about. There was something that I wasn't looking at that I wasn't trying to integrate. And the thing is, all the thoughts and feelings I have regarding this incarnation, regarding myself. So I was integrating so much in connection with others um, with the feelings I, and thoughts I had about others and the events I was experiencing. But I wasn't looking at the feelings and thoughts I had about this incarnation, that I had about this personality, that I had about the self. So this was a helpful um, suggestion from my higher self to take a look at um also this part of myself okay that's it for this video this was the information that i wanted to share with you give you a little update i want to make these updates just to share like my progress with you um, i hope you can relate with some of this information and i hope it's helpful for your own spiritual evolution so the next video is going to be about astral projection. So if this is something you care about um, and you're interested in, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.